One of the biggest challenges in agriculture over the last 20 years is nutrient stratification. Well, how did this nutrient stratification get to be such a big deal? And it didn't used to be. A lot of it has to do with reduced tillage, with no-till. Because you think about how are you putting fertilizer on your ground? For most farmers, they're broadcast applying, or even if they're banding, it's only going a couple inches deep. Well, what nutrient stratification is, is it basically means, hey, we've got a whole bunch of nutrients in the top two or three inches and not much below that. That's a real problem. Okay, a couple things here, Brian. When we look at tilling in nutrients, how deep are those nutrients actually getting? Many farmers are mistakenly under the impression that, hey, if I'm doing tillage at 10 inches deep and I broadcast my fertilizer on top, I'm going to move all that fertilizer down 10 inches deep. No, you're really not. You're going to move it about half the depth of the tillage. So a majority of that is going to be in that upper half of whatever you're tilling. A lot of tillage operations are running at six to eight inches deep, so we're getting our fertilizer in the top three or four inches, that's it. So we aren't getting that fertilizer placement down deep even when guys are doing conventional tillage. All right, here's what we want you to do. Identify if you've even got an issue. You're probably doing a good job soil testing on your farm, but what we want you to do in addition to that is just take a few spots and go every three inches down all the way to 24 inches deep. It's not gonna cost you that much money because you're only gonna pick a few spots on your whole farm, but this will at least give you a general idea where is your fertilizer at? What we find with a lot of reduced till and no-till farmers is the vast majority is in the top three inches, and then below that, the next 21 inches, there's almost nothing there. And the big problem, and the reason why this is such an issue is, just think of what percentage of your roots are down below three inches deep. It's a huge percentage. And then also, what happens in a drier year or just in a dry time of the year? The top three inches dries out. Well, how do nutrients get into the plant? They get in with water. You may have water down at a foot deep or two feet deep, and you have roots down there, but if you don't have some nutrients, you're not going to have top yields. What you don't see down deep when you don't have the nutrients there is you don't see a lot of root hair proliferation. So you do see some roots going down trying to find water and nutrients. However, when they don't find enough nutrients, the root hair growth is just very, very limited on those parts of the root. All right, once you've identified you've got a problem, now you've got to try to fix it. Like Darren said, you can do some tillage. You can do some deeper tillage if you want to. What some people have done is they've gone in and they've used a deep ripper and they've rolled the ground. You definitely can do that, but one of the challenges with that is, like for us, where we farm, we only have maybe four to six inches of topsoil in many cases, so are you really going to stir subsoil up with the topsoil? That's probably not real great. Um, so then what do you do? Well, in a lot of cases, you can just simply inject nutrients deeper. That's kind of what we've gone to in some of our, our shallow soils because we don't want to stir everything up like that. We just take either with a strip till machine or some other type of deep machine just injecting nutrients down into the 8 to 12 inch level. We've even taken a deep zone builder like a Brilliant Zone Commander and taken manure put it down 20 inches deep in the ground. This absolutely can be done. Yep, I know it requires a lot of horsepower, it's a little more work, a little bit more expensive, but you know what, it pays off in the long run if you can get your soil profile more even, get more nutrients down deeper in the ground. And the other big thing is, once you get nutrients down there, you have more root growth down there, so eventually you have more organic matter and just more overall soil life. The other thing is crop rotation or even using cover crops, trying to get deep rooted crops to try to bring some nutrients down. As those deep rooted crops grow down, once that plant material starts to decay and break down, uh, you end up with channels for air to get down, for water to get down. You've got a food source there for all the soil microbes. Uh, that can be a good way to start moving some of that fertilizer down, but it's not going to move it down as fast as what tillage does or just changing up your placement options. We do think nutrient stratification is a huge issue and it might be a major problem for you on your farm. So just identify it and try to get it fixed, get it managed as best you can if you want higher yields going forward. One other thing that will help improve your yields is controlling our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 